chasing out this Dodge Viper. You track it? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one and thanks for tuning in. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Thanks for being here. We have packages, two. We got two packages in one day. I'm expecting another package soon. I'm in the middle of buying something big for the car. So things are happening. Things are happening fast. This thing's gonna be a race car in no time. So what did we get in here? Let's check it out. Got the engage, engage wire, little SIM card thing or the you know memory card adapter thing. Engage, got the color intake. If you saw my last video, we're just waiting on the tune. We're just waiting on the tune now. And the other thing, we got a replacement model of microfiber detergent. I actually purchased this from Chemical Guys. The cap came busted and it was kind of all inside the box. It wasn't that big of a deal. I told them about it. I just wanted to make them aware of how it happened. I wasn't asking for anything. And uh, they apologized and said, we'll send another one your way. So shout out Chemical Guys. Okay, what's this video about? The active exhaust, the quiet start, um, a feature that I have on this car. The louder that I make this car, the more important it becomes because I live, as you know, in an apartment complex. I have neighbors that do not like me. I have neighbors that do not like my car. Part of why I wanted the active exhaust is because I knew I could make the car louder and, and turn the quiet start on when I really needed to. So for it to not be working and to be doing the things that it's doing now is really frustrating. A few new problems have been added. With the quiet start on, it doesn't work at all. Two, which you saw in the clip in the beginning of the video, and I'll play another one right now, is when the car turns on for the first 15, 20 seconds, you hear this is clicking this like it's like the baffles I don't know what it's doing I don't I can't tell but it's very loud it's very audible and it just sounds like something's I don't know I mean you can hear it on camera you can hear it it's loud it's annoying so that started happening every time I turn the car on now it's something that just started happening yesterday this is a new problem so normally I could still switch between normal sport and track and those would all work the only thing that wasn't working was quiet start well now when I shift into any other mode besides normal it'll go for a second you can hear it get louder but I'm immediately greeted with a message that says exhaust mode change not available or something to that effect. full disclosure yes I do have a new exhaust on this car if you've been following it all you would know if you've heard it at all you probably know but I do have the course extremes the uh, the active exhaust on this car and before you point out say well that's what the problem is you messed it up or you did something no no it was a big window of me putting this exhaust system on when everything worked fine and then I'd say three months into it it started acting up if you have a fix let me know so I'm gonna show you everything I just explained um, and then I'm gonna try my one thing that I read on the internet and see if it works. Um, and I'll explain to that what that is when we get there. All right, just to start here, I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the beginning of the video, but just, I turned it off because that clicking thing is annoying. But I'm gonna turn the active exhaust on and fill the clock all the way up to ensure that in theory, it should be on. So there we go, exhaust mode, quiet start, quiet start on, set quiet time. Okay, the cock is filled up. So, in theory, this should work. Now I'm gonna throw you all back behind the exhaust. I just noticed when I turn accessory mode on and off, I can hear clicking back there. I don't know if this is normal or not, so let me know. Listen, I'm gonna click the button. You hear that back there? And then when I hit it again. So it's like it's... I don't know if it always... I feel like that the car knowing that it's on the timer to be quiet start and when you hit the accessory or the the button to go in accessory mode it's 
trying to close it. I don't know what's going on here. Okay guys, so what I've done, I've set the camera up right behind the tip with the baffle in it, and I've set my phone up in such a way where it's shining the flashlight inside. Um, I've done my best to set this up, so I'm gonna go start the car, and hopefully we can see what's going on in there. Full disclosure, this is gonna be very loud. These are Corsa Extremes back into a garage with a cold start. I haven't started this thing in about 24 hours, so if you have headphones, beware. I will crank the volume down, but it's gonna be loud, just warning you now. So um, let's see what this looks like, I guess. As you can tell, that's extremely loud and that was absolutely not quiet start. So, I've yet to hear the video back, but I assume I could hear the clicking from the active exhaust from where I was sitting. So I can only imagine you could hear it from <laughs> that. That is ridiculous, good lord. That, <laughs> that made me jump, that was like so loud. I, I don't know. I know a car can be louder, but these course extremes, cold start, back into the garage. I gotta stop backing the car in, because that is just, that is outrageous. <laughs> see if that message pops up. So, I don't see it popping up yet. Let's see what exhaust mode that we're in. Okay, we are in track, okay. This is interesting. I might go get on the road to see if it's like when I'm up to speed or anything. All right, here we are on the road. I don't want to miss this message. I'm trying to keep the camera rolling. Of course, everything seems to be fine now that I'm recording. So as it would go, I can't, I don't know. It's not popping up now. It did yesterday. I couldn't get it to stay in track mode. So, I don't know. I'm gonna keep rolling around trying to see if I can get that thing to pop up. But if not, I don't know. If any of y'all have seen it though, I, I've seen threads on it and stuff, so people know what I'm talking about. It's just, I don't know. It just seems to be so glitchy. So, so, I don't know. The whole thing is just, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Well, we gotta make a detour because I just saw something. Check out what I just stumbled upon. Oh, where'd it go? Oh my god. Well, I just pulled in here to see that thing and it just whipped around the other way. Let's see if we can go chase it. Chase down this Dodge Viper. Woo! Trying to catch him, but not go too fast. He's right up there. so badass I saw you in the Walgreens parking lot and I pulled off oh, and then you were going that way so I chased you <laughs> that's amazing Appreciate it. how long you had it yeah you track it it's awesome bro well how 
how about that? Y'all trying to prove how bad the active exhaust sucks and you run up on a Viper. I mean, that was badass. That dude was cool. That's why cruising is awesome. You never know what you're gonna run into. I actually got it to do what I said it was doing. So I found a weird little thing. If you go into normal here, if you go into sport mode first, you'll see it changes, and then go into track mode, it works. You get the four use or four track use C manual, and that's it. It stays in track mode. By now, that message would have popped up. You can go there, you can go exhaust mode, and you can see that we're in track. But for whatever reason, if I go back to normal, if I go straight to track mode, you get that warning. Okay, scratch everything I said. Now I'm driving, because I think maybe it only does it when I'm driving. Let's stick this in there. Okay, that's better. So if I go straight to track mode, you get the warning sign. Okay, this thing's just scared of the camera because it freaking did it just now like five times in a row and I turned the damn camera on and it's not doing it. I don't know what's going on with this guys. I don't know. I just know it's not working. All right guys, unfortunately I could not get that message to pop up. I've been driving around for like 30 minutes now trying to get it. I don't, I don't know, it's frustrating. I don't know what's going on with it, but I know what's not going on with it and it's not working properly. Like there's a lot of different things it'll do under different circumstances depending on several different things. And it's not, it's just, it's not just working the way it should, you know? Um, I have noticed, you know, after the car, like how I showed you earlier that the, the quiet start wouldn't work at all. Well, sometimes when the car seems to be warmed up a little bit, I can hear it going from quiet back to loud, quiet to loud, like it's silent idle and then like loud idle, and I can hear it clicking back there, you know? So it's like, it's almost needs to be warmed up, but then that just completely defeats the purpose of, of quiet start. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm gonna try real quick to, uh, I'm gonna try that method that I heard on the internet, which is basically disconnecting the battery for about 30 minutes and just letting the ECU completely reset. Um, I heard or read from a couple people that that ended up working. They were having the same issues I was. And uh, for whatever reason, that just the reset on the car just kind of worked a kink out somehow. So we're gonna try that. Um, and then we're gonna give it a go afterwards. And if not, I don't know what my next step is. Like, I don't wanna call Ford, because I know what they're gonna say. They're gonna say, you put an aftermarket exhaust on this car, it's your fault, like you did it. And it's not the case, and they're not gonna believe me, you know? They're not, they don't wanna hear that it's their fault or their problem, like it's, they're gonna say the car was tampered with, and they're not gonna do anything about it. You know, it's ultimately up to me to figure this out and fix it. So hopefully there's somebody watching, not hopefully, because I don't wish anybody this upon anybody, but hopefully there's someone out there that we can kind of put our heads together and see if we can figure something out, figure out what's going on with it. Or if you already have a, a solution, uh, let me know, man, because I'm trying to slap some headers on this thing and I need that quiet start to work. I just do.